then cometh, cometh the end. When he shall have and delivered up. When he comes, uh -huh. he is not going to set up a kingdom. Uh -huh. He is going to deliver. Y'all know the difference between the two? That's it, now. Setting up and delivering up. Well, he is not coming back here to set up a kingdom. He is coming back here to deliver up the kingdom. That's it, now. Which means it's already established. That's it, now. And then let me just say finally, let me just say finally that here's why I know that the kingdom is established. Uh-huh. Because the Bible says in Mark chapter 9 yes, sir. and verse number 1, there be some of you yes, sir. Yes, sir. standing here yes, sir. which shall not taste of death which shall not die Till they have seen, till you have seen the kingdom of God yes, sir. Come, come with power. Which means if the kingdom hadn't come, uh -huh. you got some sure enough old folk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you talk about Methuselah being the oldest man. <laughs> but let me tell you, yes, Jesus says some of y'all going to see this thing. Uh -huh. How is it going to come? It's going to come yes, sir. with And then Acts chapter 1 uh -huh. and verse number 8. Yes, sir. But ye shall receive power. But you shall receive power. power. Yeah. Read. After the Holy Ghost has After come upon you. the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Read. And you shall be witnesses unto me. He said now, you are going, you apostles, are going to receive power. Power. After, After that the, the Holy, Ghost Holy Ghost has come upon you. Has come upon you. Now. The Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost. When the Holy Ghost came, the power came. Because the power is also going to come with the Holy Ghost. But Mark 9 says that the kingdom was going to come when the power came. Now, if the kingdom didn't come, then the Holy Ghost didn't come. Because the Holy Ghost and the power came at the same time. So to contend that the kingdom hasn't come, you also have to contend that the Holy Ghost and power didn't come. So if the power came and the Holy Ghost came, the kingdom came. Because the kingdom came when the power came. And the power came when the Holy Ghost came. I know the Holy Ghost came. So if the Holy Ghost came, the kingdom came. Because they would have come together. That's it now. That's it. So the power and the Holy Ghost and the kingdom all came at the same time. And so tonight, I am thanking God that I'm a member of the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. And I invite you to be a member of the kingdom of God. And, 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 and it's so simple to get into the kingdom of God. As I told you, you enter by baptism. Yeah. You see, that's how you enter. Yeah. Now, of course, that's not all that you do. You got to have faith. Faith destroys the affection for things that you didn't know means you're no good. Well, Faith destroys the love of the world. Well, Faith destroys the love of sin. Uh -huh. Repentance destroys the practice of sin. Confession destroys your loyalty and allegiance to sin. That's good, That's good. Baptism destroys the status of sin. And so what you need to do is have the proper faith. And it's simple faith. 
Believing that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. And if you believe that and you're willing to repent of your sins, that is, you're willing to say, Lord, I'm not much, but I'm all I got. Take me and use me to your glory and to your honor. And Lord, I don't, I'm not going to be perfect, but be with me, Lord. Don't take your hand off of me, nor your Holy Spirit from me. Just stay with me, Lord. Just stay with me. Now, I'm going to mess up, but stay with me. I, I'm, I'm going I'm to get off the track, but stay with me. Don't take your hand off me. Don't take your spirit from me. I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm prone to do things I might not do, I should not do, but stay with me. Yeah, God knows your intent. And, 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 and that's why he gave us grace. When you fall, he can rescue you and transfer you to a better place. He can do that for you. And, and, and so if you believe that and willing to confess with your mouth what your heart believes, and that is the sweetest name on mortal tongue. I believe Jesus to be the son of God. And then are you willing then to be baptized? Because that's the only way you can get in the kingdom. You can't get in the kingdom any other way. You can't get in the kingdom by sending T.D. Jake some money. You can't get in the kingdom by sitting home uh, on Sunday writing a check to some kind of ministry on TV. No, you can't get in the kingdom that way. The only way you can get in the kingdom is being baptized into Christ. Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 and 27. And if you are not a member of the church of Christ, then you are not a member of the kingdom of God. You have to be a member of the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God in the New Testament is the church of Christ. Because when we are baptized for remission of sin... God transfers us, translates us into the kingdom of his dear son. Is there somebody here tonight that's saying, preacher, I want to be in the kingdom of God. I want to, because you see, you, you see some, some folks sometimes say, well, well, I'm in this church over here, and I've been over here for 40 years, and I work hard. I'm in the choir. Um, I'm on the pastor's auxiliary committee. And I'm on the pastor's anniversary committee. And I'm the mother of the church. And I work hard. Well, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that there are people who work hard in churches that's not in the Bible. I don't doubt that. Listen to Jesus. Many will come to me in that day saying, Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy name, and thy name cast out devils in thy name, done many wonderful work? But listen to what he said. Yes, mm -hmm. I never knew you. I never knew you. I ain't never knew you. Depart from me. You that work iniquity. And iniquity means to work without authority. In a church without authority. See, in a church that you can't find in the Bible, just as honest as you can be, just as sincere as you can be, just as sweet as you can be, but working in the wrong place. You see? Now, if I, were, if, if I lived in Texas, and I used to live in Texas, and if I had, if I had said to Sam Pound, Sam, I, I, I got 20 acres out here. I want you to come out here, and I want you to plow these 20 acres. And, and Sam, uh, you know, needing money, being hungry, he said, yeah, I'll do that. Uh -huh. I, I'll do that. And, and I said, well, come on over and plow these 20 acres, and, and I'm going to give you uh, $500, just, you know. And uh, so back in the day, uh, Sam would come with his mules and his whatever it is, and, and he'll, he'll walk behind them mules, and he'll plow that thing up. And when he gets through plying, then he'll knock on my door. All right, Doc, I'm finished. I said, well, Sam, I know you for, I know you for truth and veracity, but, and I don't want to question your morality, but I do want to check to see whether or not you, you know, did the blind, you know. Yes, sir. So I, I said, I'll go with you. And Sam said, come on. 